Ma ti uova! I do not understand this thought process! <laughs> Slowly, I look upwards to see what's above them. Oh, go, go, lace up knee high boots. I actually have boots that are very similar to those, except mine are like platforms. Yay! <laughs> that intimidating look. It's probably that giant man. He just waltzed into my home and then he punched me in the gut. How dare him! He looks at me and puts his pipe in it, or to his mouth. He breathes out a puff of smoke from his pipe and it floats through the air. Yeah, I remember. He took Granny! Where's Granny? Hmm. What did you do with her? Answer me! I'm so angry, I feel like I'm about to explode. And I quietly let out a growl. The man just watches me silently and then stands up from the sofa. As I wonder what he will do next, he looms over me and pulls me up by my bangs. Ow. <laughs> Even without, like, the feelings in his hair, that would fucking hurt. <laughs> An intense pain runs through my hair and causes my expression to warp. Gul. He ignores my pain and looks at my face. His eyes. They look like there's no light in them at all. Do you understand the situation you're in? Uh. He pulls my hair to the side and makes me face another direction. I see two filthy men standing there with machine guns in hand. Uh, okay. With the snap of my fingers, they'll swarm like bees. And it'll be all over for you. It'll only take five seconds. <laughs> he takes my silence's understanding and lets go of my hair. Ow! With a violent thud, my chin hits the concrete. Ouch! I almost bit my tongue. At any rate, I'm in a real bad situation. Obviously. Hey. The man called out to his little henchmen and whispers something to them. They reply and leave. I'm in a serious pinch and desperately try to think of something. Shit, I have to get these restraints off or else. I try rubbing my arms together as hard as I can. I feel them loosen a bit, but they're not off just yet. Is there anything by my feet? Uh, hold on a second. I'm going to situate my thing here so that I am able to see the... Stuff that I need to see and I think that should do it yeah it should okay I feel the ground with my feet but there's nothing there shit I have to do something while in all sorts of pain everywhere in my body the sound of many footsteps reverberate on the uh, on the room's floor a bunch of men holding machine guns come into the room uh, do it. <laughs> the giant man jerks his chin in my direction. Just like, just like what people in my native tribe do. We point with our chins like, hmm. <laughs> oh, God. What? What are all these people going to do? I watch one of the men come closer to me, and I prepare myself for the worst. There's nothing I can do. They surrounded me as I sit there. Pitifully unable to escape, ready for them to beat down on me at any moment, I tense up. Someone starts to pull on my jacket, and another pins down my legs and arms. Uh-huh. What's going on? When I look at their faces, I see they have a bizarre look of excitement. Their breathing becomes erratic, and their eyes are bloodshot. <laughs> Make sure to hold them down hard. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god, no! Ugh. I then understand what the look on their faces mean. Stone cold shivers run down my spine with goosebumps joining them. Hey, this has to be a joke! Let me go! For a second, I was able to loosen their grip. Little by little, my restraints became weaker. Just a little more. Just a little. They're off! Huh! <sighs> 
I finally freed my arms, but immediately after, someone pinned them down again. Oh god. Oh god, this looks so bad! And it sounds so bad! Hey, what are you doing? I told you to hold him down! Let, let go! I see another group of men come up as well as the giant man folding his arms while standing on the other side of the room. The giant man was watching me calmly, as if this was only an attraction of sorts. That bastard! <laughs> Don't hate us for this. We can't go against Mink Son or Mink Son's orders. Mink? Is that the man's name? It was only for a second, but the men surrounded me, shudder, uh, shuddered, and their careless attitude had faded away. Okay. <laughs> I said, let me go. You're disgusting. Shut the hell up. <sighs> I receive a blow to the side of my face. I can feel the pain and the taste of blood in my mouth. Even if, or even if he's a guy, I really, or I don't really give a shit. His rugged hands pull off my shirt and starts feeling up my chest. Oh God! <laughs> no! No! <laughs> but this guy, he has fair skin and long hair too. Don't he look like a chick anyway? I guess, but he's still a dude. That's right, I'm a guy here! You're making me want to throw up! I decide to mess with them. I collect all the blood in my mouth and spit on one of the men closest to me. You little shit! Get off! Don't touch me! Ugh, guh, guh, guh. I kick the distracted man in the stomach and he falls forward, groaning in pain. Pathetic! Er Someone punches me twice as hard as my kick. Shit! Hurry up and pull him down. Roger. Oh, God. Oh, God. No. Stop. Don't touch me. One of them violently undoes my belt and unbuttons my pants. Oh, no. Another hand from the side pulls on my clothes and starts pulling up my shirt. But didn't they already take it off? What? I'm so confused. <laughs> Let go. Shut up! Gag him! Oh. Oh. Oh, shit. <laughs> they stuff a ball of cloth into my mouth, and the dryness of it makes me feel nauseous. Even if I try to shout, my voice won't come out. Oh, holy shit, I actually got hard. Just do it already so I can have my turn. I'm next! They disgustingly babble on as one of them pulls off my pants and underwear. Oh, no. Oh, well, it's already censored. Yay! <laughs> I shake my legs and try to resist, but the entire lower half of my body ends up being exposed. <laughs> hey, now, he really is a guy. Just look at him. Or just looking at him makes me go limp. Not for me. Oh, God. Seriously? Anyway, don't, uh, don't you do it from behind or some shit? Isn't it better to do a girl from behind, too? Ugh. Dry hands go across my thighs and ass, and then they, and then a finger presses into me. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God! Ah! <laughs> no! Ugh. Okay. A feeling of absolute disgust courses through my entire body and nearly makes me go insane. More than feeling scared or angry. It just feels so disgusting. Why did this have to happen? I was just looking for Granny, that's all. That giant man. This is all because of him. He's still looking at me right now. He's watching them do this to me. Does he think this is fun? Why? 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 Why does this have to happen? Uh-oh. What? Looks like he suddenly calmed down. I guess he just gave up. Then go ahead already. Who? Hey, is he okay? Huh? Hey. Hey, huh? What? Uh. Wh what? Somehow. What? 
disappear. Oh, oh, okay. I thought that's what was happening. Ugh. Mm. Ugh. Mm. What's that smell? I've smelled it somewhere before. Or, I've smelled it before somewhere. Was it a spice? Herbs? Cinnamon? And now we're in a different room. Okay. I slowly open my eyes and I see someone standing some distance away from me. That's the giant man. What was his name? Mink? He... What's he doing? He casts his gaze down into the flame of a single lit candle. Is he saying something? I can't hear what it is. I wonder what he's saying. What is... He... And we black out again. Okay, well, at least that saved me from having to read a fucking sex scene. <laughs> at least for right now. <sighs> Ugh. Ow. Ow, wow, 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 wow. My head hurts. <sighs> the sharp pain forces me awake, and I open my eyes to see a worn-out ceiling. Where is this? What happened to me? Right, I was about to be raped. What happened after that? I'm still wearing all my clothes. At any rate, this room is most likely a different one than before. Ow, wow, wow. I have to take my pills. Wait, my bag! Where'd my bag go? Ren was in there too. Huh? I hear the sound of the door opening, jump up, and forget the pain for a moment. Who is it? Mink? You're awake. A skinny, lanky man uh, peeks through the rusty iron door. When the man sees me, he smiles and then comes into the room. Who is this guy? How do you feel? It must have been traumatic to have people suddenly try and rape you. It was because no one can go against Mink. I can't even tell what he's thinking. Hmm. The man comes into the room alone. I glare at him and and uh, wave him away with my hand in a panic. I'm not going to do what Mink said, so don't look so afraid, okay? Oh, buzz your name, right? Uh, uh, who are you? Just like I thought. Oh, but from Junk Shop Haybon, right? You know about Haybon? Yeah, I used to go there to buy a lot of things a long time ago. He watches for my reaction and gives off a happy smile. In this situation, it's music to my ears to hear the shop's name. Since he was a customer, I almost want to be able to confide in him. <clears throat> but I can't do that. This guy is kind of weird. He's fidgeting and suspicious on top of that. It's so exciting to be able to meet you here. Y yeah Right. Really? When I heard you were caught, I thought of something really good. I thought that we should get out of here. Are you serious? Well, of course. Isn't it a good idea? But aren't Mink's people all around here? It's fine, it's fine. I'll do something about it. You'll do something about it. What exactly would you do? I said it'll be fine. So then, how? You just can't stay quiet, can you? I said that it'd be fine, didn't I? Huh! <sighs> Hanging on to me, the man's face suddenly changes and he pulls out a gun. His eyes widen and his mouth curls into a grin. Hey, it'll be fine. I'll get you out of here, so please let me hear your voice more, okay? My voice? Yeah. You're the one who always answers for Haybon on the phone. I found your voice so mesmerizing from the first time I heard it, you know? I would always call just so I could hear your voice. <sighs> so he only came to the shop for that. There were so many people who called the shop for the same reason, too. So he's just one of them. So make sure you let me hear even more of your many voices. I want to hear them, okay? He loads his gun and gets on his knees onto the bed. He pushes the gun to me as if to gesture that I should lie down. Don't move. If you try to escape, I'll shoot. <laughs> Whatever's fine. I'm not too demanding. I just want to hear your...